This video is sponsored by Competitive Cyclist. I actually do love the UK, but every time you go out and ride, you gotta wash your shoes, everything. So, we're doing a lot better here in Laguna Beach, that's for sure. The infamous rock roll of Laguna. Nice. Oh, 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 oh. All right, you guys, so before we get into today's video, I do wanna explain a little bit what's going on. So first of all, we are in Mexico. It's gorgeous. This Airbnb is also really nice. We definitely splurged a little bit for my birthday. Um, that being said, it is my birthday, or it was my birthday. It is my birthday in the vlog. And I wanna say thank you guys so much for the love on Instagram. It really did make my day super special. Also, thank you for all the love on the latest videos. If you guys could hit that like button again on this video, it really does help our channel out a lot more than you probably expect. And all you have to do is just click one button. So if you could do that for my birthday, That'd be awesome. <laughs> and with all that being said, we're gonna go enjoy Mexico now, and we're gonna leave you guys to watch our first ride on our new Delanos back in the United States. And hopefully we can ride here soon, because we just got here and we haven't ridden yet, so. Any guesses where we are? This is your only hint. Um, so you're probably not gonna be able to guess, but maybe you are. I don't know if you're super familiar with the area, but enjoy the video. Phew. All right, you guys, the time has come for Hannah to finally confront her arch nemesis. It's been a long time in the making. I can't believe this is actually happening. I can't believe it either. I never thought he'd show his face. So. Oh man. <laughs> and here he is. <laughs> All right, so how's this gonna go, Hannah? Oh no. <laughs> Like, do we dance it up? Do we hug it out? Do we ride it? What do we do? What, what, and how, this has been going on for a while. Do you guys yeah. think, is, are you guys gonna start, is it gonna be a punch or what, what's going down right now? Well, it's up to you, Milk. Oh, you know, no. has, Don't get me into it. This is, up, this is you, man. Just say, you know, we hug it out. Oh, the wait, this is how, yeah. this is, yeah. this is what, yeah. it's all well, the hype? Do this? Do this? So, oh, yeah. this look at be, this. <laughs> <laughs> it's 2022. This is the, this is so anticlimactic. We're still gonna clickbait it. <laughs> all right, you guys, so we did make it to the Crank Brother factory. Unfortunately, I don't think we're gonna be able to ride with these guys because we brought the wrong bikes. But we got a couple of really cool people out here. Your name was? Barney. Barney, and you said you're from? England. Awesome. Wet, wet England, so we're in the dry Cali right now. It's does, good, it's does good. Does Laguna Beach look anything like England or? Not quite, <laughs> no, it's way better here. This is just insane. It was Bernard Kerr. Yep, sure is. Rad, and are you also from the UK? I am from the UK as well, unfortunately, yeah. Cool, and what, I mean, the, the weather there right now, if you have to describe it in a few words. Miserable, honestly it's miserable. I actually do love the UK, but every time you go out and ride, you gotta wash your shoes, everything. So, we're doing a lot better here in Laguna Beach, that's for sure. And then we have the one and only Richie Schley. Schley, they call me. And you've been doing some insane skiing this season. Oh man, I just got back from BC, it was so good. You might be, are you one of the oldest amongst us? Besides Han, but you look the youngest. Well, yeah, I appreciate that. <laughs> I don't know where you went with that. I know, I took it to a good place. I'm the second oldest. Look at this, look at this. Sweet. I'm trying this today. Look at the new Topaz. Oh, cool. And yeah. so if you guys didn't know Juan Pablo, besides being Hannah's arch nemesis, yes. he may have had a few roles in a few small shows. Just nothing, you know, just nothing. <laughs> and your name was? Jordan. Jordan, where are you from? England as well. Oh, you just came with them. <laughs> yeah, just oh. put, it, put it in the rain with these guys. Yeah. Is it rideable in the rain, or do you guys? Oh, it's all good. Yeah, you just like Bernie said, you like you do two hours riding, you do two hours cleaning. So. So we're pretty fortunate to know some awesome people, and we wanted to ride mountain bikes with them, but they weren't built up yet. But fortunately for us, we did have our Fazari Shapers, the new gravel bike they just came out with. This bike is awesome, it climbs really, really well, and it does feel a little more stable on the downhills as well. You'll see us bombing down a fire road. Here we are, we're going down Canyon Acres. The other guys did not take Canyon Acres down, but we did and we had a blast. Gravel content isn't for everyone, but honestly, we really love gravel biking, just being able to get it straight out of the door. But let us know if we should include the Schaefer in more content. So far, we are really loving the bike. But now let's get into content you guys definitely wanna see. Let's go build up those new Fazari Delanos. So you guys are probably wondering where are the bikes? So we got everything lined up two days ago to build them up. But with that being said, uh, we started to build them up and then quickly realized, or at least I quickly realized, I'm not a mechanic. Mechanic stuff always gets me so frustrated. Shout out to all you mechanics out there. 
but yeah, I always get so, I don't have the patience and I'm, I'm just not good mechanically wise. So figured, you know what, need some help. Hit up one of our buddies with Wrench and Roll. They're a really awesome mechanic service center in the Temecula area and their lead times are insane. So we hit him up Monday evening and he was able to squeeze us in Wednesday morning, that's today. And so yeah, we're gonna drop all the stuff with him for a complete bike build. So if you guys are ever in the area or you need some mechanic work done, hit up those guys, they are awesome. Show you guys how much of a mess our life is. We're just gonna show you our garage real quick. <laughs> Be careful, because I think stuff's gonna fly out. Oh okay, no. <laughs> So we got a lot of boxes in here. Some oh. stuff from Craig Brothers and then all of our bike builds. So yeah, it's it's a disaster. <laughs> Going forward, we are gonna have Fazari build all of our bikes. We thought we could tackle our Delanos because we had, you know, just parts coming in from all over. Some things are showing up late. And I thought it was gonna be easier if we just did the build ourselves. It's not easier. It's definitely not easier. The bikes are done. Oh my God, these things look so good. So Wrench and Roll, we are just over a year of business um, here in Marietta. Um, we are door to door, so come to your house or office um, or trailhead, pick up your bike, bring it back to the shop. We call it the Bat Cave. Wrench on it, get it back to you. We shoot for one to two day turnarounds. Move the bikes through as quick as we can and keep you on the trail. Wrench and Roll did an amazing job building up our new bikes and they came out so sweet. So we weren't sure if you guys wanted us to do a full bike check video. So we're just gonna include it in this video. This is our new Delano. We'll put links in the description of the video to everything we talk about. And if you guys purchase anything through those links from those sites, uh, it will actually help support the channel a ton and we really appreciate it. Now I went with an XL frame and I'm running the DVO Diamond up front. I just like a little bit more flex in my fork over the Onyx, which is the stiffer fork from them and I also have the brand new Topaz. This thing has been awesome. Really do love how this feels on the trails. I'm running XX1 AXS with a GX rear derailleur. Can't really tell a difference with the GX rear derailleur and you save some money there but I do have an XX1 chain for chain longevity. I'm also running Crank Brothers Oil Slick Stamp 7 pedals in the size large. <laughs> Man these things look so good and they also feel really good too. Got the Chris King headset on there with an industry nine. 835 stem and I'm also running the PNW loam dropper post in 200 mils of drop I do need a lot because I have a high saddle height and you guys know me I love my specialized woman's mimic saddle we got those PNW loam grips up front and we mixed things up a little bit we went with the wolf tooth dropper post lever this time just to make it aesthetically look good on there for wheels I'm running crank brothers enduro alloy synthesis wheels I do have carbon wheels coming from them laced to industry 9 hydra hubs the code RSC brakes I love these brakes, but I do run them with Shimano rotors. Now you guys have probably noticed the oil slick titanium bolts all over our frame. It's actually made by a company called Better Bolts and they are really awesome. They make bolts for essentially all components and also frame shock bolts. And yeah, really awesome company. We have actually partnered up with them. So we actually got a coupon code for you guys. It's awesome MTB10 and that will get you guys 10% off your order with them. They can put together a kit for you guys. We'll put the link in the description. So go check them out. For my bike, it's very similar to Moe's but there are a few minor changes like the stem. I went with the black stem. I feel like it's just more sleek. What do you guys think? I think it looks better. And then I went with the Ergon Woman's SM saddle. And then I chose black PW grips, again, sleeker. And then X01 carbon cranks in the 170 length because I need shorter cranks and that was what was available. But yeah, I think my bike looks really good. What do you guys think? I definitely want some water bond stickers to put on the bike. Maybe stickered can hook it up for sure. I think that would be cool. What's going on you guys? Hopefully you've been enjoying today's video. We just want to take a quick second and thank today's video sponsor and that is Competitive Cyclist. Now for those of you that don't know, Competitive Cyclist is one of the largest online bike shops and they are awesome. They have so many rad brands to choose from and a ton of inventory in stock ready to go you name it they probably have it gear wise they actually carry a lot of things that you see in this video from the parts for our bike build to that evoc bike travel back to evoc backpacks specialized helmets specialized shoes you name it they probably have it the list is really long and also they have gear heads on standby 24 7 to answer all of your gear related need if you do have any questions some of our personal favorite gear i've actually been running the stem on a ton of bikes it's that industry 9 a35 stem they actually have that 
And man, I really like that stem, <laughs> not really from a performance standpoint, but just from a cosmetic. There's something about anodized parts that just makes your bike look faster and probably feel faster on the trail too. Um, also, Specialized S-Works Prevail Helmet has been amazing for us for gravel and cross country. And I love the new Specialized 2FO Downhill Roo shoes. And the cool thing is we do have a coupon code for you guys. It's AwesomeMTB15 and you can save 15% off your first order at Competitive Cyclist. Certain exclusions do apply, but huge thank you to Competitive Cyclist for sponsoring this video and making our adventures possible. Now, with that being said, let's get back to the adventure. Eww. All right, you guys, so we got the bikes all built up, ready to do the first shakedown ride on these. And yeah, super stoked on how the builds came out. We also got a new lens on this thing. That is the Max lens. Obviously, I got to take the cover off. Let us know in the comments how everything looks because, yeah, curious on that new Max lens. How's your bike looking? My bike's looking really good. I will say, I think mine turned out better than Mo's. What? <laughs> Even though they're pretty much the exact same there's... build, I like my black tires more and my black stem. I feel like there's enough color on the bike already and it just kind of keeps things cleaner. I am getting watermelon stickers for sure. That would be pretty point, rad. So. All right, they, oh my God, they really made those booters bigger. <laughs> All right, first shakedown lap on the new rigs. Hopefully this video works out. I really am not sure. I'm not the best with electronics. I know we've been doing YouTube for a while now, but everyone says this lens mod is supposed to be the bee's knees, so we are gonna find out. Nice, Hannah. Woo! Oh, sick. Bummer is it literally rained for a week straight a few days ago. And as you guys can tell, <laughs> that hero dirt is completely gone. I mean, this is still good, but I don't think it's gonna rain again for a while too, which is the issue. Nice, oh, whoa, 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 <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> Getting steezy, Hannah. Nice, kick. Oh man. <laughs> oh, here's the roll. The infamous rock roll of Laguna. Nice. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> I know. Now, Hannah's birthday is actually tomorrow, you guys, if you didn't know that. Well, you probably did know that because I'm sure we're going to say it in the video somewhere. Because we're actually making an international trip. I'm going to go Highline. Hopefully, I don't die. Yeah, there's an international trip involved in this birthday. If I can keep up with Hannah. But this is a shakedown ride for that international trip so Whew. oh man oh hannah's getting rowdy <laughs> nice oh man Whew. oh i hit his rowdy so good oh man how was it I was so out of control on that. Oh I no. I think I'm not used to these brakes. I have definitely way more stopping powers than my Shimano's. So stopping powers. Definitely smoother with the big wheels. That was like sweet. And then this bike has more travel too. So that feels really nice as well. It also just looks really good too. Yeah, it looks really good. I do have watermelon stickers. Hannah's birthday was the next day and we got her some sushi because sushi is her favorite food and also surprised her with a gift that she's been wanting for a while. But with all of that being said, it is SoCal winter. And even though the sun is shining, the water is cold. So we decided for her birthday to head down to Mexico for an adventure. Recently, when we fly with our bikes, we've been using our Evoc bike travel bags just because it's so simple to put your bike inside there. And actually we can with the bike and the bag still make weight. And if you fly with United, you'd only pay for a check bag, which is $30 for your first bag. So $30 to fly with your bike, as long as it's under 50 pounds and it works out perfectly this bag really is awesome highly recommend it. you guys know us we have to bring the surfboard especially if it's a mexico trip and really excited for where we're headed down to but we're just going to take a moment and be totally honest with you guys the reason we haven't been to mexico yet is because we've always been a little concerned uh, growing up in socal you hear stories from a ton of people it's like 50 50 50 people say no issues whatsoever the other 50 say i don't know if, if you guys should go down there 
And in all honesty, we've always found the best way to experience something is for ourselves and in person. So with that being said, we're going down there and we want to experience it. We want to see the culture. We want to see the people. We want to meet everyone. And yeah, we're excited to finally be making Mexico happen. And stay tuned for our Mexico adventures in the next video, you guys. Until next time, you guys, travel awesome. You.